The Real Audiencia of Quito, sometimes referred to as La Presidencia de Quito or El Reino de Quito, was an administrative unit in the Spanish Empire which had political, military, and religious jurisdiction over territories that today include Ecuador, parts of northern Peru, parts of southern Colombia, and parts of northern Brazil. It was created by royal decree on the 29th of August 1563 by Philip II of Spain in the city of Guadalajara, Law X of Title 15 of Book 2 of the Recopilación de Leyes de Indias. It ended in 1822 with the incorporation of the area into the Republic of Gran Colombia. Topic: <laughs> Structure. Topic: the 1563 decree established its structure and district In the city of San Francisco of El Quito, in Peru, shall reside another royal audiencia and chancellery of ours, with a president, four judges of civil cases oidores, who will also be judges of criminal cases alcaldes del crimen, a crown attorney fiscal, a bailiff alguacil mayor, a lieutenant of the grand chancellor, and the other necessary ministers and officials, and which shall have for district the province of Quito, and along the coast towards the Ciudad de los Reyes Lima, to the port of Peta, exclusive, and inland towards Piura, Cajamarca. America, Chachapoyas, Moyobamba and Motolones, exclusive, including towards the aforesaid part the towns of Jaén, Valladolid, Loja, Zamora, Cuenca, La Zarza and Guayaquil, with the rest of the towns, which are in their districts or will be founded in them, and towards the towns of La Canela and Quijos, it should include said towns and the rest that shall be discovered, and along the coast towards Panama, until the port of Buenaventura, inclusive, and inland to Pasto, Popayán, Cali, Buga, Chapanchinca and Guarchacona, because the rest of the places of the government Gobernation of Popayán are of the Audiencia of the New Kingdom of Granada, with which, and with the one of Tierra Firme Panama, it shall share a border on the north, and with the one of Los Reyes in the south, having for its western border the South Sea Pacific Ocean and eastern the provinces still not yet pacified nor discovered. The Audiencia was effectively autonomous because the viceroyal government to which the Audiencia was technically subordinate in political matters was too far away to administer its territories effectively. Thus, power was devolved to the Audiencia by the Viceroy and the Audiencia territory was directly administered by the President of the Audiencia and the political, military, and religious officials underneath him. Initially the Audiencia of Quito formed part of the Viceroyalty of Peru 1563-1717 and 1723-1739. Later the Audiencia was part of a newly created Viceroyalty of Nueva Granada 1717-1723. This Viceroyalty was temporarily suppressed by the King of Spain in 1723 and the Audiencia of Quito returned to the Viceroyalty of Peru. In 1739, the Viceroyalty of Nueva Granada was re-established and the Audiencia of Quito was returned to it until it declared itself independent from Spain. A year later the King of Spain passed the Real Cédula of 1740 where the borders of the Audiencia of Quito would be closer to 4 degrees south of the equator. The Audiencia of Quito briefly became independent for three years after it staged the Quito Revolution in 1809, was annexed again to the Spanish Empire in 1812. The Audiencia of Quito was liberated again in 1822 and formerly joined the territories of what is today Ecuador, Venezuela, Colombia and Panama to form the Republic of Gran Colombia. Independence as part of Gran Colombia, the territories of Quito were divided up into districts, departments, and provinces on 25 June 1824 by the subdivisions of Gran Colombia. The Audiencia de Quito was divided into four departments, Ecuador Department, Guayaquil Department, Azuay Department, and Cauca Department. The departments of Ecuador, Guayaquil, and Azuay united to form the Distrito del Sur. On 13 May 1830 the departments of Ecuador, Guayaquil, and Azuay separated from La Gran Colombia to form a new nation called Ecuador with Juan José Flores as its first president, who tried to incorporate the department of Cauca, but to no avail. References Bibliography <references> 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 Topic. Phelan, John Leddy. The Kingdom of Quito in the 17th Century, Bureaucratic Politics in the Spanish Empire. 
Madison, University of Wisconsin Press, 1967. Topic. See also. Topic. Quito School. <laughs>